sophomore year was okay, and then I moved to Calhoun Community High School, and everything turned around. Uh, I got back on track, things went great. Now I'm here. Uh, in the past year at Community High School, Calhoun Community High School, uh, I became a member of Student Council. I did various activities and volunteering projects. Uh, I opened up and came to this beautiful group of people and in doing this. Uh, my connection to Project 2020 and how I got involved is Mr. Baldwin and my principal or school director, Mr. Allard, uh, put me into Mr. Allard's office one day and asked me what I'd like to sit in on a meeting that was basically about me. Because I'm a high school student and I know dropout basically as well as anyone because I'm actually living a high school student's life. So I, of course, agreed to it and that's how I got here. Uh, transition, what do I know about dropping out? Basically, everything. Because I have friends that have dropped out, I know the reasons for dropping out, seen dropouts, I've seen dropouts come back, I've seen dropouts be successful, so I, I feel like I know really a lot about dropping out, and I know the doubts that you can have in high school as a high school student, so that is where I come into my group and what I'm devoted to, and my strong point. Uh, and at my table, which I have been working on for the past say, four weeks that I've been coming to Project 2020 meetings. Uh, we've been talking about the dropout rate and what we can do to decrease it and change it so that students stay in school longer. And uh, two of our biggest things were uh, mentoring. But not only mentoring for like high school students, because as a high school student, take me I'm a senior in high school, I'm going to graduate. If I have a mentor, I really wouldn't need one because as a kid, you think you know everything. So I would think I would be okay. I know what I want to do, I know where I want to be. So not so much as having a mentor for me, but how could I better myself and be a mentor for someone else? It's a little child or someone who is younger than me, who needs help. Uh, so those were our two two main routes. Uh, mentoring for us, well, high school students, and mentoring for children. And we ended up having someone at our table who could help us with one of those. It was mentoring uh, younger children who were showing signs of aggressiveness, I guess you would say. Uh, and I ended up having to participate in this, not having to participate in it, but volunteering. And I met a kid named Isaac about, I want to say three weeks ago, I met Isaac. And it was a little kid, like, uh, first they, they told us about him. Like, yeah, Isaac, he's, he's young, he gets in trouble, he punches kids, he beats kids up. So they made Isaac seem like, big bully, and in my mind, I built a picture of a big bully as a child, and I was like, oh, this kid's going to be crazy, and then I met him, and totally changed my mind about the whole thing. Isaac was just about the shyest, coolest kid I have ever met, he was like me as a child, and he was just calm, he was just cool, and I, I really didn't notice what his problems were or what was wrong with him, he spent the day with me and one of my classmates uh, that actually isn't here, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I sat with him and I, I talked to him for a good two hours before he left. But uh, I just was a cool kid and it really, it really opened up my mind that I could have an impact on so just thinking, or like, uh, for example, if 
Isaac would have grown up without meeting him. Isaac could have got into trouble or he could have went to school, punched a kid, got suspended. Instead, Isaac came to meet me. Not only did I affect Isaac's life, but Isaac affected my life. He made me take a different outlook on things. Not only him taking a different outlook on things. And it was a great experience just for me as a person to see someone and meet someone and have an impact on their life. Because me as an adult, as a senior, I'm still a child, so to speak, so yeah, I have people older than me. But uh, to have someone like younger than you and like influence their choices and their lives, it's just something that like you really can't explain. It's just something that you do. And it's a great feeling. And since then, uh, my table has been thinking of ways that we can uh, get with Isaac again and help more children and impact other kids' lives so that this dropout rate will decrease in generations because when you think about it, if we're just stopping the kids that are dropping out now, we're really not fixing anything. We need to fix the kids of the future before, yeah, before we fix like the end of the world, if you understand what I'm saying, like, get the future okay so those kids won't drop out and save some of the kids at the end of the world, so to speak, if you understand what I'm saying, kind of mix that up a little bit, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but our table came up with a project named Project Starfish, uh, we got it from the Starfish store, I don't know if you guys heard it, I'm going to tell it anyway. Uh, so it's this little boy, and he's throwing starfish on the beach. Well, he's on the beach, and he's throwing them back into the ocean. And uh, older guy walks up to him. And he's like, "Hey, like, why are you doing this? It's like, thousands of starfish on this beach. You're not going to be able to like change all of them." And the little boy looks down, picks up one, throws it back in the ocean. He says, I'll "Change that one." And if you Look at the deeper meaning of that story, uh, and just think about it. It really shows you, like I was saying before, you can impact at least someone's life, and that person can impact another person's life, and eventually you have an impacting going all over. So that project, or well, that name, and that story really influenced us to go further with the Isaac, not only Isaac but other children and influence their whole thing and upbringing and whatnot. I was supposed to do this for like 10 minutes, but I felt like I ran through this really <laughs> bad. <laughs> I'm like sweating this up up here. Yeah, so my table back there. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing so far. <laughs> I gotta wrap this up, but uh, to a few people I would like to thank. I would like to thank Mr. Baldwin and Mr. Aller for bringing me to this wonderful meeting. And even though I am graduating, I am going to try to keep participating in Project 2020, even though I'm not done. I want to thank Project 2020 for letting me speak up here, because this was a great opportunity for me. And I want you guys to have a great day, and thank you. You really, you really get to notice, as you grow older, you notice how how the world works basically. You see the real world and you see the changes that an education can make for you. Like now, I, I see education as a whole different thing. I see it as a door basically that I can open and see millions of more doors to open to further my career in life and leave a legacy on, on earth basically.